And I'm like, oh, did you hear that? Glow, child, glow. And bam, oh, my knee said no. My back may be breaking, but my legs are right now shaking. <laughs> I just dropped you. It is currently 2.30 a.m. So that gives you an indication of where I'm at emotionally. Welcome to another episode of Tarzana Breakdown. I wish I was joking. I'm actually not. This feels like old school Taz. I don't know if that's a good thing or not because old school Taz was very depressed. Anyway, this was me a few days ago. As you can see, I was clearly thriving. This is what I look like when I have intense anxiety, don't sleep, haven't eaten in days and haven't done anything productive. I can't do this, I actually can't do this. <sighs> Listen, I am all for self-deprecating humour. It's like 95% of my personality. But I also acknowledge that to some point, it's quite toxic. Self-sabotaging and hating yourself ain't cute. You know, that is not the vibe I'm going for in 2021. 2021 was supposed to be the year that I was like gonna love myself and take care of myself, which is really hard apparently. Apparently, it does not come easy to me whatsoever. And I have forced myself to do it, hence, this video. Why is this so hard? I don't know. I'm just grateful that my heartbeat has gone back to like a regular normal level because it felt like I had been running a marathon for the past three days when literally all I did was stay in bed. Like I physically didn't leave my bed. Yeah, my body kind of feels depleted and um, I figured the only way to go is up. So I'm hoping in this video I glow up. My biggest problem right now is my anxiety. And I know that's not something you can really control. I mean, I wish I could. I wish I could just make it go away. I don't understand why it's a thing. I don't know why our brain does this to ourselves. Like, why does my brain hate me so much? I was doing fine. And then it comes along and tries to humble me. I don't need humbling, dude. I hate myself. You don't need to remind me that every two seconds. I'm kind of sorted in that area. Self-deprecation, I'm good. Pretty much nailed that area in my life. I got it, noted, sorted. So I'm gonna try and force a glow up, but it's mostly gonna be focused on like a mental glow up. And so I kind of wanna adopt like healthy coping mechanisms for this. Get back to just being a functioning human again. That'll be nice. Listen, I love me a good crying session. Quite frankly, I'm the expert, but even I'm like, this is enough. Like I am the most dehydrated person I know. Where are all these tears coming from? So yeah, in this video, I'm gonna force myself to have a mental and physical glow up. It's gonna come in two stages. Day one is what I like to call recovery day, where it's gonna be mostly focusing on the mental stuff. And then day two, I'm not gonna look like this anymore. Hopefully, I'm gonna physically transform and be something that doesn't look like this. And I can't wait, baby. So that's how we're doing on here. All right. Let's do this. Does everyone else need like a few minutes for their eyes to adjust when they wake up? Just me. I feel like I can't see. One thing I want to try to do is meditation. It helps with being mindful and staying grounded. I don't feel grounded. I feel all over the place. So I think if I can practice the exercise of being mindful, uh, it'll be good. The problem is I've never been mindful in my life. If you know me, you'll know that I'm not a very calm and collective, uh, like I can be quiet on the outside. I can sit down for a while, but my brain, very wild, lots going on up there. Um, so I don't know if I'm even capable of being mindful. Okay, so I found this five minute meditation session. Let's do this. I should probably be calmer than I am. Let's be one with our body. I'm like, oh, did you hear that? Maybe I'm not one with my body, but let's be one with my mind. Let's be calm and collective. I'm mindful, I'm ready to take on the day. I feel like a nap would do the same job, but you know. Inner peace, meditation for inner peace. <sighs> yeah, I definitely need that. When we're stressed or anxious about something, it's often because we don't feel we have control over it. Okay, this is starting to feel more like therapy, the meditation. It's getting a bit too real. Everyone's complaining about how the ad in the middle of the meditation video kills the vibe. I didn't make it that far, my brain stopped. I 
could do with a bit more meditation in my life. I think I need someone to tell me to just breathe and calm down. Not in a condescending way though. I don't want people to go around telling me to calm down because that doesn't work at all. It just infuriates me. But in a guided meditation, it's uh, calming. I think I could do with having meditation in my life. I think I need it. Just for reference, this is the one I used and it was pretty good. One thing I enjoy doing but don't do enough is dressing up. I really do like experimenting with clothes but I just don't do it enough and I don't know why. All I ever do is wear like old t-shirts. Like I've had this crusty t-shirt for like 10 years now. It used to be black. It is now a faded grey. Um, I'm just like pyjamas. I literally live in pyjamas and t-shirts. I'm like, you know, as much as that survive, it's not the vibe I want to go for today. You know, if I'm going to glow up, then I need to dress accordingly. I feel like I need an occasion to dress up for, but like, just living is an occasion. <laughs> just because I'm not going anywhere and I'm just going to be at home by myself, you know, doesn't mean I have to dress like this all the time. Like if it makes me happy, then I should dress up. But I'm actually leaving my house today, so I do have a reason to dress up. Let me put together some outfits. Let me know which one you like out of all of them. Let's get all dolled up. For outfit number one, we have this bold number. Mixing mesh with cropped shirt and going wild with the red trousers. It's a vibe. I've never worn this outfit before. Ooh, I do like how this turned out. But I don't know how warm it is or if it's gonna be windy, if it's gonna get cold. That's the problem with planning an outfit in the UK. You kind of had to plan for like 10 different types of weather. Oh, let me see if I can just jump from here to my bed. Oh, damn, still got it. My back may be breaking, but my legs are right now shaking. Next. Second outfit gives me strong granded slash liberian who has no social life vibe, but apparently this is the trend now. I give up. I feel like this is how I would have wanted to dress like back in like law school. Imagine me doing a seven hour shift in the library reading case law dressed like this though. Because back then I definitely looked as depressed as I felt. But I feel like if I dressed like this, you wouldn't be able to tell that I was slowly dying inside. Okay, let me show you the full look. And bam, oh, my knee said no. Can you see it? Really like this outfit. Let me know if you do too. Um, but I can't wait. Today's too hot. Next. This outfit screams. I am going through a phase. Damn. Okay. This is how I imagine my alter ego would dress. And you've got to complete the look with, let's see, the boots. This one I would give 10 out of 10 in terms of the outfit, but uh, maybe like a 5 out of 10 for the weather today. So next. And lastly, we have outfit number four, which gives me unstable adult just winging life vibes. So, basically, Taz to a T. This is giving me very much Ace Ventura vibes, which is always a good vibe. Well, you may or may not know, I wear this shirt like every summer. It's my favorite shirt I own. Isn't that the coolest shirt you've ever seen? But like, I really think this is a vibe. I think this might be the one. I think this is the one I'm gonna go for. Just playing this dress up game has skyrocketed my mood. So I should do this more often because it makes me happy. I realize that I don't like leaving my flat to the point where it's a problem. Like I have needed to do a food shop the past few days um, and I just couldn't bring myself to leave the house. I don't know, I just feel generally I'm not as out there as I used to be. I have this like color correcting palette and I have no idea which color I'm supposed to be. So I pretty much mix three different colors and hope for the best. Because I feel like in 2019, I was like, I was like solo traveling. I was going around the world by myself. I basically lived out of a backpack and I really feel like I built so much confidence. I think I've lost my external confidence too of like talking to people, meeting strangers and just like hitting it off and like traveling the world. And I don't know how I did it. I feel like I've lost that part of me, which is heartbreaking because it took me so long to build that confidence. And now I feel like I'm back to square one, which is um fun. Like the thought of just like leaving my house now, like I just don't want to do that. But now that things are like slowly opening up, I don't know, but we're kind of easing out of lockdown a bit um, and the weather's nice. I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to like force myself back out into the world. Um, like I'm trying to force this glow up, right? 
And a big part of that globe is trying to force this external confidence back out. Being around trees for some reason makes me really happy. I'm basically a plant that needs to photosynthesize. I think that just going on this trip by myself um, will be good. Whew, glow, child, glow. Literally gonna glow now. I think the glow up process is in, no, I think the glow up is in progress. Now to go out into the big wide world. Well, hey, my first day out in like, Lord knows how long. Let's hope that's not foreshadowed. I hope everyone's okay. I picked some stuff up from the petrol station. Um, so, oh, this is like the classic, I didn't realize that a meal deal was a British thing, um, but apparently it is. So my meal deal today is lemon, iced tea which is my favorite drink i actually like the nestle version of this but they don't sell them in the uk which is really sad but lipton still solid choice that's my drink of choice i've got the falafel and hummus with no mayonnaise wrap that's great that's like perfect for me because i don't like dairy stuff kind of struggle with the crisps but i got this one the mccoy's cheese and onions not my favorite but it'll do that's my meal deal i also brought my notepad i think they say that's really helpful when you feel anxious and all that and to keep you grounded is to write um is to walk and write you need to do physical stuff like walking to get your mind off of it and you also need to do writing apparently it helps just to make your thoughts put your thoughts onto paper this is basically taz living her best main character life the girl spends too much time on TikTok, but hey, if it makes her happy, that's all that matters. Yeah! I ended up getting takeout, and now I'm trying to find something to watch, and I want to watch Disney, but I can't find Disney. Do I not have Disney Plus anymore? Actually, it's not even mine, it's my cousin's. Did my cousin stop me from having Disney Plus? No. No. I still got it, it's fine. What is your favorite Disney movie? Mine is Mulan. Hands down, the best Disney movie ever. I watched that movie like 50 plus times and I'm still not bored of it. Still great, funny, love it. I love how my, um, what's it called? Your avatar on Disney Plus is Finding Dory. I mean, pretty accurate, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Day two, which means today is the official glow up day. This is the outfit I went for today because, um, I don't know. I decided to go for an outfit that feels like, I don't know, this makes me feel like a boss. Truth is, I realize I don't have much summer clothes and this is the best I could do apparently. But today's focus is not on my attire, but my face. I don't really experiment that much when it comes to makeup. I've been looking at like different makeup looks and all that and I don't know how to apply makeup, but I do like color and expressing yourself and all of that good stuff. I really want to try out this makeup look. Makeup is a minefield. I love how you just do a bunch of random stuff and then it just like magically comes together in the end. And it turns out I didn't have eyeliner and I tried to put the eyelashes on but it just wasn't happening. But this is the final look and I think it's pretty similar to the picture. I'm happy with that. I'll take that. I will take that. Hello, it's me. It's the glowed up version of me. We love that. I'm feeling much more happier, much more myself. Um, I definitely needed something. I don't even know what I needed. I needed a break from existing. I kind of joke about it, uh, like mental health and stuff like that, because first of all, I don't know if I'm superstitious or paranoid or whatever, but I'm scared if I talk about it, it'll trigger it and it'll feel like that again. And obviously I don't want to, so I just make a joke about it. But no, it really sucks. Do I want to get too real? Probably not. Like, okay, I just, one thing I will say is, like I know I'm being quite light-hearted and all that, mainly because my YouTube is my escape. Like this channel for me is where I go to, to escape all my problems and all the bad feelings. So if I talk about it here, then I, where do I go to escape, you know? And I always wanna keep this place a very happy, positive place. And I wanna show you guys my best side. Um, 
you know I it's just like I need to I need this channel to be a happy place because I just need that bit of hope Ugh, I don't want to get too real but for anyone um uh, see, just talking about it completely changes my mood and it makes me really like stressed and anxious. Um, okay, so, okay, so, um, I just hate it. I just hate feeling these feelings and I just wish they'd stop, but I don't know how to make them stop. So like I distract myself with work or I'll try really hard to do things that make me happy. But when you're in this mindset, it's really hard to even do stuff that makes you happy because you just, they don't make you happy anymore and that makes you more sad. Anyway, we're not gonna go into it all that much. I guess all I wanna say is, like for anyone who is feeling really low and is struggling a lot, I'm sorry you're feeling that way. I don't know what the answer is. I don't know how to fix it, but I do understand. Like I get it. Like I really, really, really do get it. More than you know. Um, like I try not to show the struggling parts, but like I get it and it sucks. And I'm so sorry you have to feel that way. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. I was gonna say I want to believe, but like I have to believe that it gets better. I just have to. I guess that's why making these kind of videos is important. Cause I know it's like, oh, glow up and stuff like that. And it seems really surface level. Uh, but for me, it's more about having a mental glow up. And I really do want to incorporate more healthy habits to deal with all of it. Cause it does get a lot and it does get overwhelming. And it's much harder when you're dealing with all this behind the scenes and you also have to be online. Uh, Cause that's the last thing you want to do when you feel like that. Um, maybe this is all too much. Maybe I'm oversharing. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of hard because I know I have like a lot of followers and with that comes a lot of influence. And sometimes people see me as a role model, but uh, and that's hard because, uh... oh man, I was so happy. Why am I being like this now? Ah, uh, it's hard because sometimes I also feel like I'm just a human and I don't feel like I can live up to that. But I feel like I can't talk about all this stuff because I don't know, maybe it'd be triggering to people. Maybe I'm not the best example. Maybe I'm showing bad habits. I don't have things figured out and I don't know what I'm doing. So when I don't feel good enough, and I, when I feel like a failure, or when I feel like I'm probably not making the best decisions, it's hard to be online. I don't know, I feel like I just don't know how to talk about all of that. I guess the point of me saying this is like, I may not always have any answers and I won't know how to help in these situations because I don't get it myself. Uh, but just know that I get it and I understand. And I guess all I can do is just be honest. I also hate that I always cry. I hate that, but I need to also understand that I'm a highly sensitive person. So when I feel happy, it's great and I get excited and I love that about myself. But I also have to accept if I'm gonna feel that pure happiness that I need to, I'm also gonna feel all the bad parts. And it's brutal. Oh, it's brutal. I wish sometimes I could just like rip my heart out and just like put it, so just throw it, you know? I don't wanna, sometimes I don't wanna feel things. I just don't. <laughs> um, I wish there was like an off button to this brain. Listen, we're all growing, we're all learning, and it, in life you don't get to a point where it's just like, your life is just perfect, and it magic wakes up. You know, it just doesn't work that way. You can get all the success in the world, you can make all the money in the world, you can have all, you can travel and have great people around you. But if you're sad, you're just sad. <laughs> if you have mental health issues, you just have it, which is why it's so, because sometimes it feels like there's no escaping it. Oh God, that was a bit too real and a bit too honest and ah, I don't know if I'm gonna put this in the video. I do feel better. Do I feel fixed? Clearly not, but I do feel better than what I did a week ago. I'm just gonna keep practicing everything that I've done in this video. And then, you know, hopefully we can be thriving. I love you lots. Thank you so much for watching. Please know that you matter and that I appreciate you so much, more than you'll know. And I'm just really grateful that we, I have you guys and I can talk like this. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching my videos. I love you lots. Please know that you matter. And I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.